Oh, what's up, babes? That's Curly Sa Victoria back with you. Mm, I can't reach that. Forget it. It's too it's too high to reach the Is the lighting okay for y'all? Because if it's okay, I'm not about to do all that. So anyway, I got my little basket here. I'm sitting in the bed about to do my hair. I'm about to upload a video. Um, I'm a two-strand twist my hair, so I'm gonna use the rest of this snail gel. Pure snail gel. I don't even know if I have enough. We gonna have to make it work. Um, and then I'm going to moisturize my hair with a little bit of oil. So I'm just gonna use some tropical roots and run it through my roots so my hair isn't super like dry to work with. Right now it's still wet from my shower, but I'm using my hand crafted concocted oil that I made myself as well. And I'm just gonna really focus this on my edges, my nape, and some of my roots. I don't put too much oil when I'm trying to style my hair just simply, okay, there's not enough space in my phone to upload this video. Not sure why, so let's try that again. I thought I just cleared some space already, and there we go. So I'm uploading a video right now. Let me just do this now or I'm gonna forget. Um, I did a video on how to stay motivated. What's that video? How, let me do the title real quick. How to stay motivated. When you're not motivated. One of y'all have been using the word uh, you're wrong. And all I'm going to say is nobody specifically but I, it's friday friday little lesson your with an apostrophe re is you are just in case somebody needed to some of y'all out here using the wrong your in y'all sentences i don't know who needed to hear that your like you are so every time you do the apostrophe re ask yourself does you are make sense in the sentence you're my person if i say your with apostrophe re that's you are it makes sense you are my person if it don't make sense, it ain't right. Hold on, y'all. No bricks! Uploading the video now. So it's just like how to stay motivated when you're not motivated. Did the video in the car and now... Um, hold on, I just got a notification. Now I'm doing my hair. Let me see something real quick. Okay, so look, took a shower. I don't want this process to be super long. I just moisturized my hair with a little bit of oil. And then I don't, I'm going to use this hair tie because I didn't bring any hair ties out of the bathroom. And I'm just going to put some of my hair up. Wash days could be like, uh, sometimes because it's like, you have to do your hair, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I let it air dry, but when I know that I'm about to do it, it's like it makes me have to sit down and actually do it. So I'm gonna open up the snail gel and I'm gonna talk to y'all while I'm doing my hair. Um, I'm not, obviously I probably will either make another video or come on here once I'm done, but I wanted to make this video to talk about um, that notion that, oh, you're mixed with something. So that means that your hair grows long and fast. I made videos like this in the past, but I wanted to make another one like this because I think people truly believe in their heart. Oh, you're mixed, so your hair is going to grow fast because you're mixed. Glad you think like that, right? I'm being sarcastic. Let me tell you. First of all, your girl is black, okay? You got to get out of this notion that black girls can't grow long hair or that you have to be mixed in order to grow long hair. You know how many Asians, Indians, white girls, mixed girls... Mulatto girls who bow headed, hair broke off, hair is not long, and hair is damaged. Asian, like I said, Vietnamese, I've not seen it in all cultures. Not everybody who is tainted with something, hair looks healthy in the way that it should be. So that's the first thing I'm going to say is stop playing yourself and thinking that you have to be tainted. Sorry, my nose is itchy. You have to be tainted with something in order to um, 
have long hair or healthy hair. I've seen my hair, you know, I've always felt like I've taken care of my hair for health wise, but my hair grows longer and does better when I have a healthy routine. I think when you learn your hair, you learn your routine, you learn what works and what doesn't work for you, that right there is going to really, okay, so we just twisted awesome. this, look, we just twisted this in the wrong direction. This is the one thing I can stand about when I too straight and twist my hair. Baby, if you twist it in the wrong direction, it's, it's over. It's over. So, um, yeah, but I feel like a lot of people, they sit there and blame it on, oh, oh, my hair can't grow long because I'm not mixed or I'm not this, I'm not that. Like I said, there's bald headed. I say this all the time. There's bald headed in every race, like literally. Um, it just boils down to, do you take care of your hair? You know, like what are you doing to promote growth? I'm trying to figure out which way did I just twist it because that's the side this is gonna. Okay, I think I need to overhand. Yeah. Um, because the way that you do that is gonna determine how your hair is going to grow. If you have poor um, habits, poor routines for your growth, for your hair, how do you expect it to take off the way that you want it to take off? Like, your locks are only going to, a little piece of my lock just, oh, that was the rubber band. I thought a piece of my hair fell out, but that was the old rubber band. Um, if you don't take care of your hair, how do you expect for it to truly flourish? So you can't blame it on that. Like I said, Throughout the years, you learn what works for your hair, what doesn't, what methods, um, how your hair responds to certain products. When you learn that and you listen to your hair, that's when you actually will see great results. But when you steadily don't listen to your hair, then you don't get the results in which you strive to get because you're not listening to your hair. I say it all the time, like, if you listen to your hair, your hair will tell you exactly what you need, even when you don't want to hear. Let me put this mirror. Hold on. My Ellie light. LED light is broken in this mirror, but I mean not broken, but the battery needs to be traded out But um to make a long story short, like I said, when you don't listen to your hair, your hair will literally do its own thing um, So if you're not listening to your hair and what your hair needs Then it's gonna be very very hard for you to get the results that you should be getting for your hair growth literally could happen for your locks if you just listen but y'all be out here talking about well i'm gonna do this to my hair i'm gonna do this and the whole time your hair is telling you girl that's not working and and you think oh well i control my hair no baby your hair controls your hair you need to listen like i said i listen to my hair like i get asked all the time who styles your hair who does your hair the answer is me i style my hair i do my own hair you know what i mean but it's really it boils down to yeah i'm styling it but i'm also listening to it there's days where my hair needs to be oiled there's days where literally my hair is not trying to be oiled but if you listen to your hair you will know exactly what to do my hair literally tells me when it needs to be washed it doesn't have to physically speak for me to listen to it it's just you got to pay attention to what your hair is desiring that's why i say all the time like if you have loose natural hair this works for locks too, but I really gonna say loose natural hair because loose natural hair I used to use conditioner. Locks I really don't use conditioner every blue moon, but I don't use it regularly. But I used to have a good deep conditioning routine on my uh, loose natural hair. If you're deep conditioning your hair weekly or deep conditioning your hair periodically, you're gonna notice that your hair not only is going to thank you, but you're gonna notice that your hair is going to be softer. It don't even matter. People be like, oh no, cause your hair is loose, not, your hair is uh, more curly than mine. Mine is more of a coarser, thicker texture. I hear you, but then again, I don't hear you because listen, hear me out. It doesn't matter what texture you have. If you establish a good routine, if you have a good um, regimen, if you are deep conditioning, if you are listening to what your hair is desiring, you will have good results. It don't matter what your texture is. Now, granted, somebody who has like major shrinkage and somebody who has a looser pattern curl, obviously the way that the hair will look, it will look like the person with looser curl probably has longer hair because the curl is looser. But that does not necessarily mean that. Their hair could be, I know a girl who has literal crazy shrinkage, 
crazy shrinkage like her hair will shrink up to her shoulders right whole time if she flat on her hair or pull her hair her hair is down her back like lower back okay like close to the waist cut it out bricks but that's the shrinkage so it's like granted yeah we have different hair types that's inevitable like we're born a certain way certain hair types and i just think once you learn to stop comparing your hair type to other people and just embrace what you have you'll be able to grow your hair but so often we so many people just spend time just thinking like oh well my hair is not doing too well because i'm not we don't have the same texture girl get out of that texture talk like okay we all have beautiful um black girls have beautiful textured hair you know what i mean like obviously every race has a different type of texture um you're not likely to see the kinky curly coilies in white people's hair unless they're like mulatto or something like that and that's not to take anything away from them in this video i'm specifically talking to my girls with the kinks and coils and cur loose natural curls and all of this this is who i'm talking to and lock babes and stuff like that i'm not I'm not here to pick apart any other, you know, texture of hair or race or whatever. But I'm just saying in the black girl community for sure. We got to stop comparing our textures to other people or believing that, oh, you only got this texture because you're mixed or you got this texture because, like, baby, no, I'm black. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. And also, like I said, let's get it out of the way that your hair, um, hold on, let me think. Sorry, y'all. I wasn't done wrapping this one up. I'm just going to put another uh, uh, rubber band on it. But yeah, you just got to get out of that mindset that the only way you can grow long hair is to be mixed. Like, if you desire long hair, you're going to have to establish a routine. Like I said, I know a lot of my videos sometimes every once in a while sound a little repetitive or it sounds like I'm saying the same type of points over and over and i want y'all to understand that if you hear me repeating points often that's because i'm trying to drop some gems i'm trying to tell you some stuff okay you know how many ladies have come up to me and said oh my gosh your hair is so so beautiful like who does your hair or i style locks and i'm just like i do my own hair and they ask me like oh so how long have you been locked um and i explained to them that this uh set of locks i've only been locked nearly uh, almost three and a half years and they're like there's no way you got that much growth and then they asked like so how short did you start and I'll show them pictures of when my hair was like real real short and they're like no and I'm like mm-hmm and then they want to know what the secret is and I'm like really the secret is in your routine it's not a secret you need to have a routine you know what I mean if you have a routine you establish what you need to do for your hair to grow then you're good but if you don't have a routine and you're steady you know just inconsistent that's literally how your hair is going to be it's going to be inconsistent so yeah the key to growing long healthy hair is to establish a routine like i said like i do my hair based off of like i said i know washed my hair a couple times this week which is normally not i don't wash my hair like a couple times in a week i don't but like I said, my hair has been, I've been outside, I've been sweaty, I've been a whole lot of things and running outside with bricks and it's just, mm -mm. my hair just feels dirty. Or not now, but it felt dirty, like outside, dirty, just rank, mm -mm. wasn't going for it. So I said, you know, I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to um, two strand twist my hair. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm, the ends of my hair is not. Some of them are folding up and some of them aren't. Alright. Okay. Alright. But yeah. So no, the thing the, the thing to growth or the key to growth for your hair. Briggs, please calm down and cut it out. He playing with his toys. He's so, 
so excited to play with his toys, but sometimes he just be sounding like he playing a little too rough. Hey, I know you playing with your toys, but take it down a notch, boo boo. He in there shit in a crate. He do whatever he whatever it takes so he can play with his little toys. But um yeah, so you gotta stop making up all these excuses as to oh well my hair can't grow because da -da -da -da. your hair not growing because you're not establishing a routine and sticking to it. Like I always say, y'all hear me say this all the time because I mean it. You do not have to have an extensive routine for your hair to like be popping. You don't have to do a thousand steps to establish a routine. You just need to establish bricks, something that works for you and stick to it. Um, if you're constantly doing something different just because everybody's doing it, it's going to show up in your routine. You know what I mean? And then what is going to happen is you're going to fall out of a routine because you're so busy trying to keep up. Just because every product comes out, something new comes out, does not mean you have to get that product. Does not mean you have to follow the crowd. Does not mean you have to test it out. Now, I understand some people do like product reviews all the time. So that's why they're buying all the products. But really, let me tell you, especially with locks, like loose natural, I understand because you're kind of constantly trial and erroring for different styles. But with locks, baby, once you know what you're doing, you know what you're trying to do? Don't be getting caught up with all that. Just do what works. And like I said, for me, the more I do my hair, the less products I use. The more I start making my own things for my hair, which I formulate. Um, and eventually will be uh, available to the public. But yeah, I don't need to do too much. Okay. I don't really need to do too much, so... That's me though, like, everybody's different. Some people feel like, you know, they have to have a thousand products. I'm just not one of those people. I'm literally not one of those people. I'm trying to see if I wanna leave some edges out so I can, so I can um create some edges or if I wanna add them into the lock, not a hundred per, I think I'm gonna add them. Um, but yeah, that's just not me, I don't need to, my little crowd just do what works I do what works I don't retwist my hair all the time like I do every once in a while I'm really I prefer my hair a lot of times without a retwist a fresh retwist because I just like the the freedom to just be free but I do retwist my hair you know often enough so that my locks do not start to grow together like without my consent some of my locks I have combined and they're two-headed dragons and you know they're growing together and they're almost completely grown or they're grown together at the roots but some locks that I don't intend to um combine I don't um allow my hair to go too too long without doing a, a retwist because you don't want your locks to start growing together. But like I said, it's gonna be a minute before I actually finish my hair. So I'm probably about to turn on a vlog or something to watch and charge my camera battery. But I just wanted to make this video to just talk about that topic of you don't have to be tainted with something in order for your hair to grow. Um, being mixed, being of a different um, race or anything like that does not dictate the growth of your hair. Now you might feel like, oh, well, why do I see this um, specific da, da 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 Why do their hair seem to grow fast? You might want to think about, okay, what are their routines? What do they eat? What's contributing to their hair? What do they drink? You know what I mean? Like, what products do they use? Because, like I said, you can't have that mindset. You too old to have a mindset of um, black girls can't grow long hair. You know how many black women, black people I know who got very long hair? Yeah. So you can't be stereotyping based on the color of somebody's skin, the ability to grow hair. It all, like I said, it stems from a routine. If you don't have a good routine, you don't establish something to grow your um, hair long and healthy, then yeah, you'll end up in a situation where you will, will not see growth. But get that routine and I can assure you, like I said, I'm not even four years yet. I'm not even three and a half years yet. And my hair is like already almost to my bra. Now mind you, my hair is in layers. Ah, ouch. 
but the longest I'm saying the longer parts okay so this right here you can see this lock is actually it's two different lengths so I have to but the longest part of my hair um some of these two strands aren't coming out the way I want them but whatever but yeah you just gotta listen to your hair and it'll do what it needs to do this is my hair so far y'all but yeah let me get to this i'll talk to y'all in a little bit in the next video later